It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewery Hurt and it's a bottle of their Herter Mule Cell coming in at 5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. The brewery's been going since 1270. Amazing. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. The other two beers I've had, they were lager style beers, so this could very well be a Dunkel. We will have a look now in a moment. So two to three finger, slightly off white head. Cherry red in the colour, nice levels of carbonation. Very clear, clear looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, I'm going to say Dunkel on this one. Just dark lager, basically. You get that lager in aroma. Lager yeast, lager malt. And then some biscuity, bready, nutty aromas from the, from the roasted malt that they what darker malts they've added to the beer. Might be a touch of roasted malt to be honest, it is quite dark. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Yeah, it's nice. Chewy, malty, biscuity, a little bit of spice on the back end. I like the toffee, the biscuity toffee flavour there. Toasted, sweet, toasted sweet oatmeal biscuits, wheatmeal biscuits. It's not too sweet, it's just about the right balance for me. I'm not a fan of sweet beers. I think any sweeter and it would be just a bit too much for me, but it balances off, that sweetness balances off nicely with the, the spiciness and the bitterness on the back end of the beer. Incredibly drinkable. It's got a nice mouthfeel, it's drinkable, but it's just a little bit more rounded, it's got a little bit more body than say a regular lager. It's slightly kind of chewy on the mouth. Not as chewy obviously as an imperial stout, but it's just got a little bit more, a little bit more miles per hour to it, a little bit more biscuit and, 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 and mouthfeel there. A denser mouthfeel would be a better word to use. But uh, yeah, it's a nice beer. I'm using their glass. I probably would have used if I didn't have their branded glass that they were kind enough to send me. I probably would have used a nice big kind of vice beer glass for this beer because I want to see if it's bottle conditioned. I want to see if there's any sediment there. So we'll keep on drinking for a moment and then get the rest of the bottle in. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. So it's not bottle conditioned. Just having a look in the light. Now it's cleared as a bell. There's, there's no sediment. It's a filtered beer, a good carbonation, a nice red color to it. It's a nice beer, deep red. Amber coloured ale, two fingers slightly off white head, good aroma, nice taste, let's rate it. A 
I like the fact that there's just so much going on. There's so much flavour going on from the nuttiness to the biscuitiness to the, the slightly sweet toffee in there, the sweet meal, oatmeal kind of sweetness and biscuitiness and breadiness, the good kind of quite dense mouthfeel for the beer, 5% ABV, good carbonation, nice prickly spice, spicy bitterness on the back end, a little bit of stinging nettles, touch of lemon, beautiful beer. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.